Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at some hidden Easter eggs on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So Easter eggs are of course hidden little fun things in software and operating systems that really don't do anything but they just need to know that they're there. It shows that there's somebody else with a good sense of fun on the other end building these things for us. Now gone are the days when there was a hidden game of Breakout in Mac OS and Emacs was installed so you can run it in Terminal and access all the Easter eggs in Emacs. A lot of the old Easter eggs are gone but there are a bunch of hidden things even in Mac OS Ventura. First let's take a look at what happens when you download a large file and have to wait for it to download. What's the date on that file before it's actually complete? Well let's try it here with this file and I'm going to the download the linked file and I'm going to save it in my downloads folder. And then I'm going to look in the downloads folder and you can see the download is progressing. If I select it while the download is in progress and use Command I, I see that the created date is January 24th, 1984. This will be the created date for any file you're in the middle of downloading. That's the date of the original presentation where Steve Jobs announced the Macintosh. Now let's go into System Settings and then down to Users and Groups. Then if you go to Change the icon that you use for the user you can go to Suggestions and you'll recognize some of these. They've been around for a long time. There are little standard icons that you can use. One of them is of a vinyl record right here. Now it's hard to see here but we can locate this file in the system. If you're in the Finder and you do Go to the Computer Level, then into your Drive, then to Library, and then down to User Pictures. This one's under Instruments and it's Turntable. And if we double click to open this up it will open up in Preview and we can zoom in and see the names of the songs on this record. These are all words that Steve Jobs liked to use. Magic, Revolution, Boom, Unbelievable, and then there's a little Made in California and an Apple logo. Now when Steve Jobs returned to Apple and introduced the iMac there was a whole new advertising campaign called Think Different and it had this speech that you probably know as the crazy ones. That used to be in the text edit icon but it's not there anymore. Matter of fact it used to be in several different places but you can still find it in a few. If you go to System Settings and then go down to Displays you can see the icons here for showing you how text will look at different resolutions includes the text for the crazy ones. But you can also find this hidden in an emoji character. If you use Control, Command, Space or FN and E and you search for Book you come up with several here but there's one that you can see has some text on it. Let's choose that one and it will give you this little book character. Take that one and make it as large as you can. If you look closely you can see it says here's to the crazy ones and it's got the beginning of that little piece of ad copy. Now the thing about emoji characters are there's an international board called the Unicode Consortium that decides which new emoji characters get added so that everybody's on the same page. Apple, Microsoft, Google and all sorts of different companies that use different emoji characters. But each company is in charge of creating the artwork for its own version of that. That's why the little book icon there has that text on it but it's only on Apple devices. You're not going to find that text say on the Microsoft or Google version of the book. Another one where Apple's inserted a little Easter egg in their version is if you look for Coin and insert the Coin character and then you'll see here the crazy ones and it's got the year 2020 which is the year that Apple designed this emoji. Now the emoji in Special Character Viewer has an Easter egg of its own. If you bring that up and you search for the word Claris you get a dog and a cow. Actually if you search for Moof you get a dog and a cow too. What do dogs and cows have in common with those words? Well go to the Wikipedia page for Dog Cow and you'll find a little history of the special symbol named Dog Cow or Claris but there's a lot to read about Claris the Dog Cow in Apple history here and you may recognize it because if you had an old Mac back in the 80's or 90's if you went to Page Setup this was the image that was used to show you the orientation of the page that you were going to print. Most people just saw it there and never really thought much about it but it actually is quite an interesting read here. But it's not the only place you'll see Claris the Dog Cow because after a long time of not being anywhere in Mac OS in Mac OS Ventura Claris the Dog Cow is back. 
If you go to an app that has file page setup, not just print, but it has to have page setup, then you can use page setup and there it is. It's back again with a slightly new design. Now a lot of Apple icons used to have Easter eggs. There was the text edit icon, the mail icon had some interesting stuff on it, lots of other little things as well, but most of those are gone. One that still has a kind of neat Easter egg is a fairly new icon and that's the one for voice memos. If you look at that icon there you'll see a waveform. What's that waveform? Well that's the waveform you get if you say the word Apple. There's another icon that has a special Easter egg on it and I'm going to use Shift Command G and then go to this path here. Going into System Library Core Services Core Types Dot Bundle Content Resources and you're going to get to a directory that has all sorts of icons for different things. Like for instance it's got icons for all these different Mac computers here and other devices that may be hooked up to your network. But what if you're not hooked up to a Mac? What if your network has a PC on it? Well then it's going to use this icon here. The Public Generic PC icon. What does that one look like? Well it looks like a really old CRT screen and what's on it is the blue screen of death. The Windows error screen that you would get when Windows crashes. Now back in Safari let's say I wanted to read this Wikipedia page about Docow. Again one thing I may want to do is go to Bookmarks and say that's my reading list. Now when I want to see my reading list I go to View and then Show Sidebar. In the sidebar here I have different modes like tabs at the top and some modes down here. Bookmarks, Reading List, Shared With You and iCloud Tabs. Reading List has an icon. The icon for Reading List is a pair of glasses. But if you look at the style of glasses you notice that they are Steve Jobs glasses. Now back in the Finder let's use Shift Command G to go to another location. This time in System Library Image Capture, Devices and then Virtual Scanner.app Contents and Resources. You go in there you end up with a bunch of files that have to do with image capture. All these files look pretty normal except there are two odd ones in here. One is SimpleDoc.pdf. It's a PDF here that has a Bitcoin white paper. What's that doing there? Well no one really knows for sure but it's been around since around 2018. Most likely it was just a convenient document that happens to be completely open without copyright. So it's probably used for some utility in the app as a sample PDF. But a little stranger than that is a cover.jpg image. That is a picture of this which people have traced to a spot on Treasure Island in San Francisco. But no one really knows why it's included as an image there. But if you've ever needed a sample image and you've got nothing else on your Mac you can always I guess use this to play around with in Preview or other graphics apps. So I always say I hope you found this useful but not this time because none of this stuff is useful. It's just fun. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.